Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are kicking off our month of giveaways here on the Power In Your Curl channel. And I'm gonna be sharing my nighttime routine with you guys. And if you stay tuned to the end of this video, you're gonna be able to win one of the supplies in this video. So let's get started. So a lot of you guys ask me what I do at night to maintain my hair. And it's actually really, really simple. So the first thing that I like to do usually before I go to sleep is moisturize my hair especially when it's like this is day three hair I think so especially when it starts to get really voluminous and a little bit dry so I just take some of this onion juices and berries it's my favorite refresher ever and I spray it all over my hair and I like to make sure I get my ends too and I like to let the refresher fall on my hair. I don't want to spray it like super direct because then it makes my hair wet and that just makes my hair frizzy. So I just want to mist it with the product. And then after I put some moisture into my hair, I'm going to seal that in with my Myel Organics Mint Almond Oil. Now you don't have to use these exact same products. You can just use water, really. You can just use water and then you can take a cream that you like or an oil and apply that to your hair. And that's just going to give your hair some moisture because you don't wanna to go to bed with dry, crispy hair. And you don't have to do this every night. I just tend to do it when my hair gets old every night. So I have two different nighttime routines that I do. I have one that I like to do when my hair is fresh and I'm trying to keep the curls defined and from getting messed up. And then I have another routine that I do when my hair is like this. And it's pretty much like wild at this point. So I'm not really so much concerned about the curl definition and keeping it fresh. So the first one I'm gonna show you is the one that I like to use when my hair is fresh. So I will just flip my hair over so I can bring all of my hair to the front. And then I'm going to take my satin scrunchie. Now I only use satin scrunchies because even the ouchless bands, I find they still pull hair out because they have that part where they meet where they're glued together and they still, my hair still catches on that. So I only use satin scrunchies and I'll have where I get these linked down below. Um, I get them from Amazon for like six or seven dollars I think for a pack of four. And that's lasted me like three years. And this is pretty much just like an oversized pineapple. <laughs> so I'll do that. And then I will take my favorite scarf in the world. And this is an oversized satin scarf and I've had this for a lot of years as well. And you guys always ask me where I get this. And I actually got this from a friend. So I didn't purchase it myself, but I did find something that's very, very, very similar on Amazon. Like it looks exactly like this. And so this scarf is three feet by three feet. It's just one big square of black satin. And so is the scarf that I'm gonna link down below. So I just take my scarf and I fold it into a triangle. And then I tie my hair up like this. So I put the big part in the back of my head to keep my hair protected. <laughs> and then I just tie it up like this. And so then you're left with like this really huge ponytail in your face. And the way that I take care of that is I'll just wrap my hair around and pull it to the side like this. And then I'll put a bonnet on top of that. Now this bonnet, as you can see, is really small. So I've been trying to find a bonnet that is more so this bonnet is actually kind of small and it slips off really easy in the night because there's nothing to attach it and the elastic is kind of worn out. So I recently found a new bonnet that I absolutely love. It's like way higher quality and it grips onto your hair at night and it's this bonnet. So it's purple, it's really pretty. Purple is my favorite color. So it's purple on the outside and then it's also reversible so it's black on the inside. Oh, I actually like the black. I haven't worn it in black yet. And it has really good grip, like I said, around the edges. And then it also has this little drawstring on the back so you can 
pull it to make it tighter on your head or if you have a big head or a lot of hair <laughs> you can loosen it up so it's not too tight so I've been using this bonnet for the past month to replace my old too small bonnet and I really like it a lot and I also love this because it's from a black woman owned company and y'all know how I am about supporting the black community and um, I just feel like we go into like beauty supply stores that aren't owned by black people and we buy products that were meant for us and I feel like I'd rather support a company that knows what it's like to have my type of hair knows the struggles that I have that way they make a more innovative product that actually works because this works way better than just this you know standard thing so I just put my hair to the side and put the bonnet on and so this bonnet I find is a lot roomier then the other bonnet, like my hair has space to be big and fluff out, but then it gets tight around my head, which is good. And I can just put the drawstring in like that, and I like to tuck everything. So I just tuck the drawstring back in. So this is how I usually go to sleep at night. I'll just put my hair in a pineapple, put on a scarf, and then put on a bonnet, and then go to sleep. And I don't sleep on a satin pillowcase yet. I need to get one, but I sleep on a cotton pillowcase. So the second routine that I have for my hair is when my hair is a little bit older and I don't really care about the definition anymore. And this is even simpler than the first routine. So I'll still gather all my hair at the top of my head, and then I'm going to take my favorite satin scrunchie, and I'm going to put my hair into a really loose and big bun. So, just like that. And so this is my bun. And then I do the exact same thing with my scarf, but this time I make it big enough so that my bun is fully encapsulated in the scarf. And I'll show you guys what I mean. So I just make the scarf really, really big. And then I just put it on top. So I'll pull this little triangle down here and I will do this with it. So you kind of look like Marge Simpson. <laughs> but that's what happens when you got big hair and you pile it on top of your head. I mean, that's just what happens. So this way, I don't need to use a bonnet. I'll just sleep with my scarf on. Everything is protected and I'm all good. So my third routine that I like to use for my hair is when I want to stretch my hair out. So I probably wouldn't do it on this wash and go because it's pretty much, you know, stretched out. But say I had a twist out that was like really, really tight and it didn't fall. Or even if you have shorter hair, this is a really good routine if you want to stretch your hair overnight without using heat. So you can safely show your length and not have to worry about damaging your curl pattern because you're using a blow dryer or something like that. So it's really simple. All you want to do is just smooth your hair out. And you want to take your time when doing this because this is going to kind of set your style for tomorrow because you're meant to stretch your hair overnight and then in the morning when you take it out your hair is elongated i'm going to take my hair and gather it at the back of my head and then i'm going to start twisting it and this is going to help stretch out the curl but still, it kind of helps protect the curl, but it's still stretching it. And then I'm going to wrap my hair into a bun. And then I'll take my satin scrunchie and put my bun in place. So here is what it looks like. And so it's basically just like a low twisted bun, but when you twist your hair around itself before you actually wrap it into the bun, it helps to protect your curl. So you just don't come out with straight hair in the morning. And then I just take my scarf and wrap it around in the back. And then I like to bring my scarf to the front whenever I wear it like this because it kind of like anchors it onto my head so it doesn't slip off and I'll just put it in like a little bow right here and y'all know I got a tuck I don't know why <laughs> but I just have to so this is good to go but I always like to have that extra protection and I'll just take my satin bonnet and this just helps to keep my scarf on at night and so you can put it right behind the bow just so if your bow tries to slip at night, it can't go anywhere because this is gripping it. Or 
you can put it like this. And so here is how it would look. So if you're not able to do any of the styles that I showed in the video, there's two things that you can do. And the first thing is that if your hair is too short to make any ponytails or anything like that, don't do anything at all. When my hair was in the TWA to like awkward phase, I didn't do any type of pineapple. <laughs> I didn't do any type of pineapple ponytail bun, nothing. I just put a bonnet on my head or a scarf depending on what I had on hand. And when I woke up, of course your hair is gonna be like smushed down on the sides from you sleeping at night. And I'll just either spray my hair down with the water bottle and shake it out or I'll get in the shower and you know wet my hair and put some conditioner on it and be good to go. So if your hair is like in the TWA to awkward phase, like kind of around here, you don't have to worry about having a night routine, honestly. You can just wear a bonnet to bed. And this one is really good for gripping onto your head even if you don't have hair to weigh it down. And then if your hair is longer than the awkward length, but you still can't put all of it into a pineapple or into a bun, then you can just do like mini pineapples all around your head. So you could do like four pineapples, two in the front, two in the back, and just gather your hair into these little ponytails. And then when you take it out in the morning, of course, you just want to fluff it out just like a big pineapple. All right, so let's get to the giveaway. So I'm gonna be giving away one of these bonnets. This is a glow by day bonnet. You can find her online if you wanna look more into her. The owner's name is Renee and she's super duper sweet. But I have mine in purple and you're gonna be winning yours in burgundy. So this one is reversible just like my purple one where the outside is like this cranberry color. It's really, really pretty. And then the inside is the black and it has the drawstring. So this isn't burgundy, this is the red and the black. And the way that you're gonna enter this giveaway is by following me on my three social medias, which is my Instagram, Power In Your Curl, my YouTube, of course, and then my Twitter, which is Power In Your Curl as well. And I want you to leave me a comment down below answering a question. Hmm. Leave me a comment down below telling me some videos that you want to see from me in the next couple of weeks. I'm really interested to know what you guys want to see. Like I only want to create things that you want to see. So leave that down below and when you leave that comment also include your handles for YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. That way I can just verify that you follow the giveaway. And there's going to be a few more rules in the description box so just check there to make sure you have all the info. But this giveaway is going to run for one week. So starting today Monday December 4th it's gonna run for an entire week until Sunday December 10th at 1159 p.m. and that's when the giveaway is gonna close and we're gonna start off a new giveaway on Monday so this is the month of giveaways every Monday I'm gonna be giving away something on my channel so make sure that you're tuned in so you don't miss it and if you want to be sure that you don't miss out on any of the giveaway videos go ahead and turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified when I post new videos and so you can be the first to apply to the giveaway so that's all that I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Everything that I use in this video is linked down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.